What's up, all my bass heads? This is Image Design Audio. Today, we're going to talk about punchy and hard hitting bass. Um, somebody watched my other video, so I figured I'd break it down to everybody about what hard hitting bass really is and punching bass in the is really is. A lot of people say that the question asked, and I've heard this argument before, that two arms hits harder than four arms, which is true. But four arms can hit just as hard as two arms. So let me break it down first. I'm going to go forwards and then I'm going to go backwards. If you're on four arms and it's not hitting hard, it's because four arms is more clear and four arms hits more lows than two arm arms. It's a fact. So, um, depending on how much power you're pushing through there, it's going to be a difference. So, if you're on four arms and you want to hit hard, you want to EQ in like 80 hertz because every frequency is different. When you get from 80 hertz down to 50 hertz, the frequency gets of the bass gets subby. The higher the bass, the hard, more hitting hard it is and more punchy it is. So if you're on four arms, just EQ in 80 hertz or 100 hertz. Mostly 80 hertz hits harder and you can hit just as hard as two arms. A lot of people argue the fact, but most people that really know audio, because we're not just dealing with speakers. We are dealing with audio. I used to mix music, so I kind of know what frequencies do what. Like I said, 50 and below gets really subby. When you get up to 60 and 80, you start hitting hard. So if you have an EQ, dial in 80 hertz. Or if you have a bass processor like the Epic Center, you want to take your sweep and push it all the way up. So it will sweep those higher frequencies to hit harder. That's what I do with my bass processor or just EQ and 80 hertz with the EQ. So that's my Q&A for today on hard hitting bass. Um, also, if you want to hear more about two arms versus four arms, check my video on that. I explain a little bit of that about punchy bass versus subby bass and why there is a sound difference. But if you want to hit hard, yeah, like I said, just EQ and 80 hertz. If you want to get low, EQ that 80 hertz out if you want to. And if you don't want it to hit hard, you have that choice. And you have more options when you have an EQ. EQ is everything. It is. Because we're dealing with music. We're dealing with frequency. So if you can get you a dope EQ, a good EQ, your bass is going to sound awesome. Your highs are going to sound awesome. Your mids. But make sure when you get an EQ, if you like those lows or you like punchy, make sure that EQ has a knob on it that can get down to 30 hertz or below. And your bass is going to sound good. So, Image Design Audio, we out. Just want to explain to you guys how you can make your speakers hit harder on whatever arms you're on.